Did you know that there are multiple ways to capture your audio in OBS using Elgato Wavelink? And it's not just the one traditional Wavelink stream method. As a matter of fact, the method I'm gonna show you today has become my favorite way of capturing audio via OBS because of how easy it is to work with the audio in post. Without further ado, let me show you how to do it. So if you find yourself with the Wave 3, a Stream Deck Plus, or any other device that gives you access to Elgato Wavelink, the more traditional method of routing that audio into OBS so that it can be output to your streams or to your YouTube recordings or whatever it is, is you would use Wavelink Stream. And in case you don't know how to do that, you just go down here to your sources, wherever that may be. You hit the plus sign, audio input capture. You can name it whatever the hell you want. Let me move this over here real quick so you can see. All right, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna hit okay. You click the drop down. you go to Wavelink Stream, you click it and you're done. Everything that you have set up in Elgato Wavelink, every channel, every source, every volume level, et cetera, is gonna get routed into this one channel, into OBS. And if you're just streaming, that's perfectly fine. It's worked for me for years. It's been fantastic. You're gonna have a great time. However, it becomes a problem when you're trying to record and or stream and record at the same time and have more control over your audio volume levels for your different sources in post. And in order to gain that level of control, this is what you're gonna to have to do. In OBS, what you're gonna notice here is that I have a folder of sources, grouped sources called Audio2, and inside of them, you're gonna see chat, system, music, browser, PC game, mic, and PS5. These are audio output captures. The reason that they're set as audio output captures is because this is the only way we're able to divide them into separate tracks in a recording to be able to control and adjust the volume levels in post. So what does it look like to put it in as an audio source? Well, all you do again is you go down here and hit plus, and instead of audio input capture, you're gonna select audio output capture. You're gonna hit that, you can name it whatever the heck you wanna name it, and every single channel that you have set up in Wavelink will appear here. For example, we see Wavelink System, Wavelink Aux 2, which is my 4KX capture card, AKA PS5 Pro Audio, Wavelink Browser, Wavelink Game, Wavelink Music, and Wavelink Voice Chat. You have to add an audio output source for each one of the channels that you wanna capture within OBS, all right? So now that we have all the sources added into OBS, we need to separate them across different tracks individually so that when we're done recording, every single source is assigned to its own track, allowing us to control and edit the volume and the audio itself in post. And how we do that is super simple. Uh, we're gonna go to Audio Mixer, click the gear over here, the Advanced Audio Properties menu is gonna open up. Let me try and make that a little bit bigger for you. All right, by default, typically, Every single source is gonna get auto assigned to track number one. You can do whatever you want with that, okay? I believe, if I understand correctly, that you can take music and unclick it and remove it here, and you can stream music through your live streams, but it will not be saved to the VOD. Don't quote me on that. I don't typically play music while I stream. I mean, maybe in the intro when I have the starting soon screen that everybody hates. Uh, when I have that going on, I have some you know royalty-free music playing, but, I don't believe it pops up on the VOD, right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that every other track is empty. We have six tracks that we can play with. Bop, 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 done. Okay, so I start in priority, right? My mic is definitely gonna go on track number two. My PS5 audio is gonna go to three. My PC game audio is gonna go to four. Let's go with console uh, PC audio on five, and then we're gonna add voice chat to the last one, bam, done. Now that I've assigned the different sources to their individual tracks, all I have to do is hit close. Now that we've added all our audio sources as audio output capture sources into OBS, and we've also told OBS to assign these sources to specific tracks, we just need to tell OBS to make sure it records all six tracks. And how we do that is incredibly simple. We're just gonna go over here to settings and then you're gonna go to the output menu. If your output mode is set to simple, you just scroll down very little into the recording section and you're gonna see audio track. If you're using all six tracks, you need to make sure all six of them are checked in. If you're only using the first three, then you check in only the first three. If the sources that you wanna record are assigned to tracks two, four, and six, and that's what you wanna record, then you only check in two, four, and six. So how does this help you? Well, it's very simple. Imagine that you stream 
you download your VOD because you want to edit it into shorts, into, you know, long form content, whatever it is. And you get to a part in your video where the game volume all of a sudden drowns out your mic volume. You did all your audio checks before you went live. The balances were fine, but something got really loud, an explosive scene, if you will. Because you had it all set as Wavelength Stream, which records everything into one track, you can't fix that. If you try to lower or raise the volume in post, you're lowering and raising the entire channel's volume, the entire tracks. So you're not able to independently control one or the other. If both of your volumes are here, let's just say game is higher than mic. If you lower that channel, it all lowers proportionately together at the same time, which renders it not useless, but you can't fix it. In this method, because you're recording and streaming at the same time, your recording is gonna be saved with multiple audio tracks. So same exact stream, same exact point in the video where the game volume becomes higher than the mic volume, you can drop the game volume down to the point where your mic volume now is clearer and louder than the game volume, and now you can achieve good balance when necessary without affecting all the other sources because they're all in different tracks. Before I move into the Stream Deck part of this whole video, uh, I forgot to mention one thing. There is one source that you're gonna add in as an audio input capture, that's gonna be your microphone, all right? Whether it is an Elgato microphone or another microphone with a different audio interface, you're still gonna add it in the same way as an audio input capture. Now, the cool thing is, is that if you're using the Elgato ecosystem and you've got something like a Wave 3 or the Wave DX, or something connected to their Stream Deck Plus XLR dock or the Wave XLR audio interface, you should be able to capture it as the microphone FX. If you're able to do that, then what that means is that it's gonna take your microphone from the Wavelink channel with all the VSTs on there and route that out into OBS with all your VSTs. For example, this is the Wave 3. All I have running on it right now is voice focus and EQ and nothing else. So just make sure, I forgot to tell you, but make sure, the only audio input capture that you're gonna add is gonna be your microphone. Now, Stream Deck Plus. I love my Stream Deck Plus. It's an incredible device. It is still the only other piece of hardware I have on my desk. I'll tell you what I have here. Okay, I have two controllers, a headset, a keyboard, a wrist rest, my two mouse pads, Stream Deck Plus with the Elgato Hub, USB Hub attached to the back this time around, my 4KX capture card, and that's it. I got nothing else on my desk. I don't have a mixer, I don't have anything else because all that is in my Stream Deck Plus. I absolutely love this device, it is incredible. Now, in the past, in order to control your OBS audio sources, when you use them as audio output captures, I had to use the Bar Raider plugin for OBS, which involved having to connect with the IP address and some other shenanigans, which isn't really difficult, but I just, I don't, I, as little steps as possible between point A and point B is my favorite. But nowadays, recently at some point in time, they updated the OBS plugin itself on the Elgato Marketplace. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double click here, double click here. And this is my Stream Deck page folder for OBS recording on YouTube, for recording YouTube content, all right? Uh, I just woke up. Uh, coffee hasn't kicked in yet, so just bear with me, all right? So the first dial here, is just what I have for the monitor mixing in in Wavelink. This allows me to listen to my games using that monitor mix without having to turn on monitoring and output in OBS, and I can control that volume. All this here is for me. Nobody else hears this except me, right? So uh, the PC audio, the capture card audio, and the PC game audio, right? This is up to you if you wanna do that. Now, this next dial over here, because we have the OBS Studio plugin installed and we've already clicked on a dial, we're gonna automatically see dial only command. So you would take audio mixer volume, click, hold, drag, and drop it right here on this dial. This is my microphone. And if I wanted to, I can just tap the microphone button on the little screen on the Stream Deck Plus right over here, or I can click in the dial itself. You can't hear me because I muted myself, right? But now if I just tap the glass itself, right? Very nice. For the other two dials, I went ahead and went up here to Stream Deck and I grabbed Dial Stack, dragged it on over, dropped it. And when that happens, I get a different submenu opened up. And from here, I just took Audio Mixer, one, two, and three, 
drop them in here. The first one's gonna control my PS5 audio. The second one is gonna control my PC game. And the third one's gonna control my system PC audio. This is what you would hear, right? The second dial, or rather the last dial, the fourth dial, same exact thing. I took the dial stack over here, dropped it onto this dial. We're gonna double click in here. You have a sub menu. The first audio mixer volume command is gonna be for browser audio. The second one's gonna be for music audio. And the third one is for voice chat. And that's it. And if you want to monitor and listen to all your stuff, you can do that in the advanced audio properties menu in OBS. And you can use that to listen to your game as you actually stream and or record with no delay that I experienced. Don't come at me in the comments. If you experience delay, I can't, I can't help you. I don't know what to tell you. I, I still sometimes just use the monitor mix of Wavelength to listen to my audio as I record a stream, but you can monitor and output all your audio in OBS while you record and stream and have basically a latency-free, lag-free, delay-free experience. That way, you can monitor everything in real time and make sure that your voice and your, your balance of audio between different sources is on point. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've covered everything. I think that's it. I don't know if I succeeded in making this a very short video, but ever since I've done it this way, it's been so easy to, to edit. I mean, it's just, I just, I already have the recording saved locally. This unfortunately does not work like when it comes to VODs, all right? Because your VOD is still gonna be saved as a single channel with all the sources associated with the one channel. But if you're trying to record and stream at the same time and you wanna control all of your audio in post, this is the easiest, most efficient way to do it, giving you the best control out there if you happen to have the Elgato's uh, ecosystem and Stream Deck, Stream Deck Plus, et cetera. If you don't have that and you're curious about getting some, you know, I am an Elgato partner. This is not a sponsored video. I'm doing this because I want to. And go to the description down, go to the description down below. I'll have some links for some of the relevant items here. You can use my code SGT5P at checkout, 5% off. Uh, until next time, God, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a great day. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace.